Hello chess lovers, here is another fascinating game for you played by Alpha Zero, developed by Google and DeepMind, which learned and surpassed entire human chess knowledge in 4 hours just by playing with itself, demonstrating insane attacking chess which is coupled with profound positional play. Alpha Zero is playing with the white pieces against world computer champion Stockfish 8. Let's see how the game went on. Alpha Zero started with knight f3 and knight f6 by Stockfish 8. d4, e6, c4 and b6. Stockfish 8 goes for Queen's Indian defense. g3, we see the fianchetto variation and bishop b7. Nowadays, bishop a6 is also becoming more and more popular, but Stockfish 8 is choosing this classical main line of the Queen's Indian which is the most frequently played line from the 1950s. Black attempts to control the center with pieces instead of occupying it with pawns. Bishop g2, bishop e7. We see castling by both sides. d5. e takes d5, knight h4, opening up this bishop's diagonal and putting pressure on d5. c6. c takes d5, knight takes d5. Knight f5, knight c7, e4. Still, we are in Queen's Indian's variations. These positions have been seen many times. d5, e takes d5, knight takes d5, knight c3, knight takes c3, and instead of recapturing on c3, white is first playing queen g4. The threat is queen g7, checkmate. Also, white is avoiding the quick exchange of queens. g6, knight h6, check. King g7 and only now white is capturing on c3. Bishop c8, queen f4, queen d6. We can see that Stockfish 8 tries to exchange the queens as soon as possible. And that's quite reasonable because right now black is a pawn up. Queen a4 and a very ambitious move by Stockfish 8, g5. Now the knight on h6 is under attack. The bishop is no longer protecting it. But Alpha Zero played a fantastic move. Instead of moving away his knight, he played Rook E1, going for this deep positional knight sacrifice. The idea is that after King takes H6, White is playing H4, which we see in the game, and now White is starting to exploit the weaknesses of Black's king side. F6, Bishop E3, Bishop F5, Rook D1. Queen a3 again offering an exchange of queens but white rejects b5. h takes g5 check f takes g5. And now using the effect that the pawn is pinned white plays queen h4 check. King g6 and a typical computer like move queen h1. The way alpha 0 is maneuvering with this queen is very interesting. Now this queen is coming to support the bishop. Of course, white is not going to capture on c6 because these pieces would get freed and that will be fatal for white. King g7, bishop e4, bishop g6, bishop takes g6, h takes g6, queen h3, bishop f6, king g2. White is going to bring the rook to h1 square and support the queen. And I think that it was in here that Stockfish made a mistake by capturing on a2. Maybe it was better to play rook h8 and not allow white to double up his pieces on the h file. Instead we see queen takes a2, a typical engine like move grabbing a free pawn. Rook h1, queen g8 and now the strong queen is coming to cover the h7 square. C4. Rook e8, bishop d4, removing the other defender as well. Bishop takes d4, rook takes d4. And though black is a piece up, but this knight and the rook are just out of the game. And this is what gives white an advantage. Rook d8, black tries to exchange as many pieces as possible and simplify the position. But here comes queen e6, creating some dangerous threats. Queen e5 is the threat. For example, if knight a6, then queen e5 check. If king g8, then rook h8 is winning. Or if queen f6, then rook h7 check, winning the queen. 
That's why after Queen e6, Stockfishet decided to develop his last piece, Knight d7, but that was met with Rook d1, and we see this nasty pin. Knight c5, and after Rook takes d8, Knight takes e6, White is also capturing on a8. This is a one end game, and now let's see how is Alpha 0 going to realize his advantage. King f3. White is not hiring to win that pawn first, white is centralizing the king. Knight d4 check king e4, knight c6, rook c8, knight d7, rook b8, knight f5, setting up some cheap traps, of course you can't capture because of this knight d6 fork. White is first playing g4, knight h6, f3, knight f7, again this knight is always coming to support his pawn. For example, again, you can't capture because of this fork. Rook a8, knight d6, check king d5, knight c4, and there it goes, the pawn on a7 drops. Knight e3, check king e4, knight c4, rook a6, check, king g7, rook c6, king f7, rook c5, forking both these pawns. Of course, again, capturing on b5 can't be played because of this fork. King e6. Rook takes g5, king f6, rook c5, g5, king d4, and stockfish 8 resigned. Black is also losing this pawn, and this is going to be fatal for black. White is winning. I think that this was a very impressive positional knight sacrifice. The way this alpha 0 plays is just astonishing. I would like to have that Alpha Zero program on my PC. What about you? Hope that you enjoyed this game. Good luck.